Stage one entry startup. You see ignition, the three Merlin engines at power, back eight, illuminating eight, those eight, titanium eight, grid fins. Eight, eight. Stage one entry shut down. And shut down of stage one. That completes the entry burn. Coming up at T plus eight minutes, just shortly after that, we will get the landing burn of the first stage. Seven minutes into flight, everything continues to go well on the second stage. Propulsion's good, trajectory is good. We're about to go transonic on the first stage as it quickly enters the Earth's atmosphere. Now at this time we should be going transonic on first stage. That puts us less than 60 seconds away from landing. Right now the vehicle is passing through 900 miles an hour. That'll give you an idea of the deceleration that's coming up in the span of less than a minute will reduce from over twice the speed of a jet all the way down to zero as the rocket lands. There'll be many events coming up here very shortly. Landing burn ignition, second stage goes into orbit, and then the first stage lands. Let's listen and watch. AFTS has saved. Stage one landing startup. We have single engine startup on the first stage for landing. We're getting views from the onboard Signal camera. Number. Back shut down. Stage one landing with deploy. And we're waiting for confirmation on first stage on the drone ship. This is recovery, Falcon 9 has landed. All landing operators will proceed to procedure 11. We don't have a view, but we hear recovery calling out Falcon 9 has landed. Also importantly, in the background just now, we had second stage engine shutdown on time. Guidance, navigation, and control engineer confirms we have a nominal orbit. That's the parking orbit, the first of two planned. So, so far, first stage looks good on the drone ship. Second stage is in the desired parking orbit. Now our next events are restart of the upper stage engine at T plus 26 minutes, 17 seconds, and then deployment of Telstar 18V almost six minutes later. So right now I'm gonna pause live commentary, but I'll be back in about 15 and a half minutes at T plus 25 minutes, 30 seconds, and we'll bring you the restart of the upper stage engine followed by deployment of the Telstar 18V satellite.